Good evening, people. I just seen this cool little photo there on the internet, right? You see what this is here? It says, who, which mentor would you choose, right? And it has an image of Gary V, Grant Cardone, Toy Lopez, and Elon Musk, right? So four of the biggest, the biggest badasses there is um, online today, right? These are we really like four of the biggest producers. Elon Musk is a billionaire. Grant Cardone has a billion dollars worth of uh, real estate. Um, I'm not too sure who's worth more money between Gary Vee and Toy Lopez. Gary Vee is out there, hustle, hustle, hustle every day, and Toy Lopez is, he seems to be kind of partnering up with all the big day guys, and he's uh, one of the, he's probably one of the best uh, internet marketers there is there, right? He's basically made social media his home, right? But here's the absolute harsh reality of the situation right so somebody shared this picture i thought that's cool right and i thought mm. the harsh reality of the situation is right if most people had one of them people to uh mentor them for a year for a month for a week whatever it is you know what? i think they would get fuck all results right i know this is like harsh and this is a bit negative and stuff like that and it's not normally as positive but this is like a hundred percent true right in my opinion as far as i see things right i deal with a lot of people i deal with a lot of people well i deal with a few people who get really really good results and i deal with a lot of people who get good results right um and i see a lot of people who are damn right getting fuck all results right and the reality is in my opinion every single person gets the results that they deserve that's the reality of it right most people if you had these guys if you had all of these guys to mentor you and teach you, right? You would still end up fucking flat broke, right? Unless you had the guy, the only way that you would you would uh, actually make more money from working with this guy is if he came to your house every fucking morning and got you out of bed and marched you out the door and told you exactly what you had to do and he stood at your door and he wouldn't let you back in at the end of the day until you'd done something, right? Because most people, and I'm like, like, I don't work with most people, but most people, right? And this is not the people I work with, but most people are fucking lazy. And they are way too lazy. They have like, they have a problem for every solution. They have something negative to say about every possible innovation or something like that that comes along. Most people are negative. Most people are lazy. Most people um, have a serious sense of entitlement and it just holds them back from achieving anything in their life, you know? They're all like, I remember talking to a guy one day and, and one of my favourite questions to ask people is like, how come you don't have more money? And he's like, because my ex-wife took half it. No, but how come you don't have more money? And he says, because my ex-wife took half it. She only took half of what you have. And if you keep blaming her and taking half what you have, if you would have had three times the amount, she would have took half of that, which meant you still had more. The reality is you have not produced enough. You've just done the bare minimum to scrape by. And you know, the bare minimum to scrape by, even for successful people, in my opinion, is... They will do enough to pay the bills, enough to pay the mortgage, enough to get a couple of holidays, um, enough to pay the cars, and that's really it, you know? So, you know, most people don't do enough, and yet they sit around and say, oh, it's the economy, can't get, can't get the work, can't get the staff, legislation's bad, can't get the rates, they blame absolutely everything, right? This is the reality of the situation, guys. The nation, now I don't know whether it's the whole world, but the nation is fucking lazy, right? That is the reality. Um, these dudes are absolute geniuses. They don't need any excuses to get out of bed in the morning. They don't need anything. These guys go, make shit happen. That guy, Elon Musk, is an alien. And I mean that in a positive way. Like, he is not from this planet. This guy, if Jesus is going to come back and save us, it's probably going to be in the form of Elon Musk because we fucked up this planet and he's going to make it possible for us to go to other planets. How crazy is that even, you know? But the reality of the situation is, guys... I have a simple concept when I'm talking to people. It's it's three stages. Do more, get better, build a team, right? Do more, get better, build a team. So if you work six days a week, right, boom, time for you to work seven days a week. If you work seven days a week, it's time for you to work seven days a week and a couple of nights a week, right? Because you must do more. Then after that, you must get better. So getting better might be you know, learning better systems, learning better... Uh, using software, different things, all the different things you can use to get better, get more efficient, right? And then you build a team, right? Most people, what I come across, what I encounter, 
they are fucking lazy and they're trying to build a team. They are lazy, they don't put enough work in, they don't put enough effort in, it's not high on their priority, it's not high, their business is not high enough on their uh, priorities, and yet they try to build a team. Like, why you don't, you know, get better first, man, do more, do more. Like, when you start to do more, it gives you this level of empowerment, in my opinion. When you're doing, I don't know, six days a week and you start doing seven and a half days a week because you're throwing a few nights, you start, start noticing more results. And then, you know, uh, motion and action just leads to more motion and more action, you know? So now my, my iPad has gone dead and I've only got one charge and I'm charging my phone, you know? But look, the story is, guys, in my opinion, regardless of who you had on the team, regardless of who you had there shouting out for you, trying to teach you stuff, unless you take complete responsibility for yourself, it's not gonna happen, lads. That's the reality. It, I've, I've said this before and I'll say it to you again, right? We don't live in a world where in, a lack of information holds us back because you can get the answer to any single question you want online, literally, boom, 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 in the space of a couple of seconds, right? We live in a world where we can't get everything we want because we're not willing to take the level of action needed to get what we want, right? Let me tell you, yeah, again, we are not held back by lack of information. We are held back getting the results you want from a lack of action, you know? And there's only so much action one man can take, um, but that's when you get to the point of getting better and building a team, you know? So uh, I'll leave you with that, guys. Understand this, you might think that the lack of a mentor is holding you back. The lack of one of those four of the superstars in the world who I've, I haven't got to see Elon Musk yet. I've spoke to the three of them. I've spoke to three out of the four, right? And I'm, I'm proud to say I've done that, right? But the reality of the situation is, guys, you must do more and you must not go and be complaining and, t and uh, somebody's saying something about my charger here. Work harder, Joe. Get a second charger for that iPad. Yeah, that's it. You must do more. Stop being a little bitch, you know. Um, but that's it. Like I, I see people, I see people, and I'm talking about their business, and they're like, Whoo, and they just haven't got a fucking breeze, you know. And the reason why they haven't got a breeze is because they actually think they know more than what they do, you know. Um, that's the story, guys. I'll leave it with you. Stay cool.